Hello friends, so I hope you are doing great and this is Ganesh. I'm going to start with uh, forms videos. So I'm going to create a new playlist called forms in my channel and I'm going to keep all the related videos about SAP script, smart forms and Adobe in this particular playlist. Okay, so let's start with the smart forms. If you take ABAB, uh, normally I consider ABAB as a two different chapters. The chapter one contains all the basic stuffs about ABAB. Uh, example, data declaration, screen, selection screens, uh, internal table, data dictionary, messages, modularization techniques, uh, lock objects, search help. So I consider these are basic um, basics about ABAP. So if you want to start learn ABAP, then you should know the very basic things. And the second chapter would be concepts, ABAP concepts. So ABAP concepts starts from ABAP reports and model pool programming, BDC, IDOC, smart forms, Adobe's, um, BAPIs. So those are, I consider those are called concepts. So every concept, if you take 70% uh, of the code is coming from the basic stuffs. It could be an internal table creation, data manipulation, calling a function module, modulation technique, calling a subroutine. So everything coming from the uh, your basic stuff. So 70% and the 30% is related to the concept. If it is a ABAB report, so the interactive ABAB report and I, I need a different uh, PF status. So, and then if you to go to the model pool program, I need a screen. So 30% of code is for the related to the concept. So that what I uh, divide this entire ABAP uh, learning process. Okay. So in that case, every concept has its own functionality and own need also. If you take ABAP report, so if you want a report, business need a report, then please go ahead with ABAP report. Business need a very detailed tabular format report, go with the ALME report. And business need a screen uh, designing for to manage their entire transaction then go with the model program the same way we have a smart forms forms in general very clear it's a forms forms are basically for uh, for the documents or very simple i can say if you want to take any printout okay then go with the uh, forms concept even above reports also available to take a printout but we have a restrictions normally if that if there is a document and that needs to be a take a printout we have some expectation in the document right it it needs to be have a logo it needs a bold italic and sometimes it may be a, a little colorful report so a lot of requirements comes normally if come to the uh, print uh, printout process normally i can say word okay so if you want to take a printout using ms word obviously the requirements gets changed compared to the ABAP reports so if in SAP product, if there is a uh, requirement to take a colorful or a standard printout, please proceed with forms. So forms are here to help us to take a printout the business data. Okay. And there are some versions about the forms. We start with SAP script. That is the first one which we have to design your forms and uh, it's moved to smart forms uh, versions i can say it's advanced versions many facilities it's very easy to de development perspective is very easy to handle and then adobe so these are the three things currently we have scripts smart forms and uh, adobe and uh, i consider uh, i can say many of the clients are not uh, at least not develop anything from the scratch with the help of SAP script development wise also it has little challenging part complexities and uh, that is the reason mostly if there is any new we have to go with smart forms sometimes we have to manage the existing forms which developed in SAP script also so still people are uh, managing and supporting the SAP script okay so now we are going to see about smart forms the overall generic uh, the underlying property is same in all the three because it's it's just evaluation of uh, one concept script smart forms on adobe so the basic idea is quite the same probably the transaction is different the way which we are designing is quite different other than that everything is same between these three concepts okay let's get into the slide first so smart forms is nothing but a design okay it's it's very important it's going to be designed so it depends on your business need you have to design it okay for example uh, this is my very basic design uh, the 
the business says i need a page i want a page the page contains my header information could be a company name or uh, header po informations are available and then who is my purchase order number who is my uh, supplier or customer so those very generic or very unique or master data is going to be in my header informations and i need a company logo and then i want all the item details so it, it can it can be going uh, on and on with the pages like suppose if you take one purchase order it can be 100 items or 200 items so it depends on that my item details to be displayed here and finally i need my footer information it could be terms and conditions or something like that related to the particular document so those are coming in the footer details so this is the page design which company or the client needs okay so here uh, this is I'm talking about the design. I'm not talking about the number of pages. A number of pages is going to be 100, but design is going to be one. It's very simple. Okay, that's what we need to understand as a developer. So, and then a customer might say, okay, uh, let me go with one more design, meaning the first page is quite different and then other pages. Okay, so uh, now the design is going to be divided into two. So first page is going to be like this and second page, probably you just take out the logo. I don't want my logo to be printed on all the pages. So only my first page want a logo, second page onwards. Second page onwards, whatever number of pages I want to be followed to that uh, under that different design. So now the design is going to be divided into two pages. Suppose. Again, uh, saying, okay, it's fine. First two pages different and third page onwards, I want something else. So, so design is going to be changed depends on the business need. So the next, next page, for example, I'm saying the next page for, you can say this is page one and page two. As per design, next page for page one is page two. And next page for page two is page two only. Meaning from page two onwards, you have to follow the page two design for n number of printouts. Okay, n number of pages, whatever page you are taking a printout from page two, the next page design, the design is going to be the same. Suppose a client is comfortable with, I'm fine with only one for my requirement. It can be thousand pages. So the next page for page one is page one only. Okay, this is only one design. It needs to be followed for n number of pages. Okay, so this is very clear about the designing part. Now we are going to move little technical. So the requirement is ready. So little technical, we are going to move it. So the green one the full the outer layer is called page okay and the inner layer you have the boxes right orange color it's called window so if you want to design this page you need two components first component name is page second component name is window okay and one more component is called text elements meaning these are empty pages also empty window is empty inside the window you're going to keep the content the content may be a constant variable or it's a keep on dynamically changing whatever it is okay or a logo whatever you want to keep inside the window you need one more component called text elements okay so there is a hierarchy you, you need a page inside a page probably you need a window and then inside the window you need a text element in the text element, either you can keep a variable which carries the value or you can just go ahead with the constant value, whatever it is, terms and conditions or constants, okay? So these are very basic uh, technical things. You should be knowing either you work with a script or smart forms or Adobe, whatever it is, these terminologies are same, okay? So now the next slide is, is going to be the important one. And if you want to, uh, very good with the smart forms, just touch base with all the concepts which we are going to listed in the smart forms okay so the first one is basic properties of smart forms so there's nothing but pages windows page windows pages is nothing but as per the design i need two pages okay now number of pages how many pages you want to create maybe one page or more than one page and windows how many windows you want as per my design i need four windows header item logo and footer okay and same window is going to be used in second page also it's not like uh, page one i need four windows page two separately three windows no okay because the content is also going to say going to be same in that is the case you don't want to create a separate window for pages so windows is going to be one that is going to be four windows going to be used in page one and three windows going to be used in page two simple pages and windows 
while creating a pages and windows it's a separatable one okay so a pages create separately windows create separately then i need to combine these two coming under page windows so inside the page windows concept i'm going to create i'm going to assign not create i'm going to map the windows to the pages okay and um, in script and smart forms is quite different comparatively with the bab reports model pool program and the transaction wise also is quite different okay but it's it's quite easy only maybe it's a new thing which we are going to see in the transaction level so that is called page windows here and two things smart styles it's a very simple uh, in a ms word if you're creating any document definitely you need a first para to be you need to uh, align with with we need to align the document with the help of paragraph designing and character formats right same thing we are going to use in smart forms also i want the first paragraph to be left aligned right aligned or justified and then i need a character format i want i want bold italic colorful whatever it is fan family sorry excuse me font family so those things are coming under a different concept called smart styles actually this is a different transaction also so in that i'm going to use i'm going to create a paragraph and character format based on my requirement and the transaction code for smart form is smart forms i believe this is the lengthy transaction in sap smart forms okay and then uh, global settings so you should be a little good in uh, the smart forms um, settings also so then it's very easy to uh, map the customer requirement so you have a form interface so form interface is the place where you are communicating between your smart forms and your program so here smart forms if you create a smart form smart form is always depends on a program that needs to be called in one of your se38 program an executable program okay so that is the rule so you need to call the smart forms so you're not able to call the smart forms directly that needs to be called in a program technically we call that program as driver program okay so you need on program name is driver program then you have to call your smart forms so here you have two different object program and smart forms okay in two different objects you have a place to write a code so that there, there is always a question arise where we have to write a code for the performance whether i can write a code in my program or i can write a code in smart forms we'll see quite later okay so the idea is you have the place to write a code either in a program or in smart forms also you have a place so form interface is going to be the communication layer between your driver program and the smart form suppose i want to send something to my to my smart forms from the driver program i'm going to use the concept called form interface okay and vice versa but vice versa normally we are not going to use we are not uh, going to read or get anything back from the smart form because smart form is always going to the printable one printable version so we do mostly as per the business need we are not exporting anything from the smart form back to the driver program but still is a vice versa it's a both way communications you are able to do it with the help of form interface and global definition this is the huge area of smart forms you can do lot many things in the global definition in a simple way global definition is nothing but global declarations so for the entire smart form i want uh, it may be a variable it may be a little type of code it a structure or a subroutine whatever it is that needs to be accessed in, in through entire uh, throughout my smart forms then you have to prefer this area called global definitions so if you declare a data yes it's uh, it's available in all the in wherever you want in this inside the smart forms types you can create uh, your own structures and field symbols you know about the field symbols you can declare it if you want you can use it anywhere in your smart forms initialization is the place where you can write a code it executes before your smart forms triggers okay so a kind of pbo i can say initialization so before uh, run my smart forms i want something to be triggered so then go to, to go to the uh, tab called initialization so this is I, all each is representative as a tab in your uh, smart form transaction and form routines is going to be your uh, sub place where you can define or implement your sub routines form and end form is going to be over here and then currency and quantity fields so global data is a place where you can declare it so if the declaration variable refers any currency and quantity fields definitely it need a reference field okay so for that you have to mention it same like your sc11 okay that is about global settings 
Other properties, other very frequently used properties in smart form is table template folder. Okay, so we'll see this quite later. Table, very simple. I can say it's very easy to use for a table format. So if you want to be your uh, data to be in a table or tabular column, tabular format, we use a table. Template is going to be the similar like table, but uh, table, sorry, template has its fixed values. It's it's called expand. It's by by own depends on the data. And folder, you know, normal folder. Uh, it, it, that is also has its own restrictions. A folder is normally we used it for uh, keep our own development in inside a folder. That's it. For that only we are going to use the folder concept. Flow logic is a place where you can play around with the coding part. So alternative is one of the option. SR no option. For that we are going to use this alternative. Loop, normal loop and end loop. Here you have a, a option called loop. Program lines is a small editor where you can write a code. So here initialization is for the global one and the program lines is for specific window. Suppose I want some program lines to be executed only for my window, not for entire smart form. Then go with the program lines and same similar way. We have an option called command as well. Okay, so everything quite we'll see uh, one by one. So these are the maximum stuffs available in smart form. So once you're good with that, then smart form is very easy for you. And then uh, driver program, very simple. Um, okay, before the driver program, every smart form is capable of generate one function module. Okay, so how the communication happens? So I have a smart form, I have a driver program, how I'm going to call the smart forms. So SAP did very simply, uh, it generates a function module on top of every smart form. So if you want to call a smart form, technically you have to call the function module. Okay. So there is no statement called call smart forms or call smart form name. We are, I'm not going to use uh, the name also while calling this. Just as my function model, I'm going to use it to call the smart forms. Okay. And um, one more point we have to be very clear. If a smart form generates a function module, in SAP we have a three different servers, development, quality and production. Okay. And in a smart form is available in development system, I'm go, I'm executing it. It triggers one smart, it triggers one function module. That function module is generated by SAP auto generator, and that is generated in development system. Okay. Uh, for example, I can say function module number one. Okay. And uh, if you move the smart forms to a quality system, then what happens? Okay. Before that, in a driver program, we we just use a statement called call function function module one to call a smart form. Now we are moving to the quality system. In quality system, if you execute it, it might generate a different function model because it's auto generated. So there is no link between okay one function model generates throughout all the services available. No, so it has its own function model in quality. It could be a function module three, function module four, whatever it is. So that is the reason what we are going to do is for the testing purpose, we are well and good generate a function model call directly from your driver program. It will call your smart forms. Once you are done with your testing, you are ready to move your function, uh, sorry, uh, driver program and smart, smart forms to the quality system. Make sure you are using this function module. So what it does, this function module does is it creates a function module of your smart form at the runtime. Okay. So you here you're going to assign the function your smart form name and execute it, it generates a function module at the runtime. So then what happens everywhere, whether it's a development quality or production, it generates a function module only at the runtime depends on the server. Then we are going to call the function module with the help of a variable. Okay. So that also I'm going to see, sorry, that also I'm going to explain in this session. So uh, this is just for information for a testing purpose, directly you can execute the function module. You can still uh, do a testing in the smart form transaction itself for a simple testing. You never need uh, a driver program to test a smart form in smart form transaction it itself. You can execute your, you can execute and test your smart forms. Okay. So clear about this two areas like SSF function module name is a, one of the function models is a function module name. It receives your smart form and generates the function module at the runtime. Okay. And yep, that's it. So I think this is enough to give an introduction about smart forms. Let's get into the system now. So this is my system and the transaction is smart forms end with S S M E R T F O R M S. Okay, smart forms, and it takes you to the 
exact transaction. This is a transaction for SAP smart forms. And you have form style text module. We'll see one by one. And first I'm going to have my own form. Uh, start with ZRY. So ZGI um, simple form. Okay. And click create. In the smart form, by default, uh, you will get one page and one window. Okay. So let me close this. Okay. So here you can see the global settings and you have form attributes is nothing but what is the attributes and what are the output options over here. What is the page format to be uh, for the page? So everything is going to be over here. And then form interface is the place where you are communicating between your driver program and the smart forms. The communication way is going to be a variable like import, export, tables, exceptions. And it's, it's similar like your function module because the function the smart form is going to create a function model, generate a function module. So most of the structure you can easily uh, uh, relate it with the function module. So import, export, tables and exceptions also. So this is a way where you're going to co communicate between your driver program and smart forms. Mostly we are receiving the data from driver program to smart forms. Okay. And then global definition. So this is a place where you can keep all the uh, declarations, all the data medium as global. So not only data medium, some type of code also, okay, like global data, you can declare the data here, whatever you want, declare it. And uh, this is going to be available in throughout your smart form. Throughout your smart form means I can have, um, may have two pages and uh, 12 windows and then different text elements and different program lines. Program lines is used to write a coding, write a program, right? So there are many components. So if you declare anything in the global data that is available in all the components, applicable components, not all the components you're able to make, you're able to um, get your variable. So wherever is applicable, yes, you're able to get it. Okay, types, a small editor, you can start writing your own structure types is used to create a user defined structure you can start writing it and then field symbols again here also the place you have to declare it same like global data and initialization is the place to write a code uh, that going to be available throughout your smart forms okay so uh, code in the sense some logic is going to be available throughout or before your smart form executes before your smart form component executes this code actually triggers okay and form routines so form routines is a place where you're going to define your subroutines like form and end form and you're going to call the subroutine somewhere in your smart form component and currency and quantity fields where you're going to uh, define which field needs what reference okay so this is about the global definitions of your smart forms and your design starts here so very basic settings of smart forms is pages windows page windows only these three Mostly we are going to see on these three today. By default, you have one page. And if you expand it, you, you have one window. If you expand, nothing. Okay. So by default, you'll get one page and one main window. These kind of settings might differ between script, smart forms and Adobe. In a script, you won't get any uh, default main window or default page. You have to create everything from scratch. But smart forms may be one step ahead because if you come to a smart form, definitely you need a page and definitely you need a uh, window. Here they call it as main window. We'll little uh, later we'll see about types of windows. Okay. That is also playing a major role. Okay, so here page double click, you can able to see the properties of the page. So what kind of page counter you need if it is there and what kind of increase you want and what is the page name and this is the page description. If you want, you can change it. So I can say uh, P1, page one, and this is my um, first page. Okay, and what is your next page? So here you have to say currently I have only one page. So that is what uh, listed here P1. Okay, and I have one main window. Okay. And form painter is a place where uh, you can see the graphical design of your smart form because smart form is it's kind of always a design, right? So you can by default, you can see how your page looks like. Okay, and you can play around also. So main window is going to be maybe it's a little bigger if you say 50. 
okay so this is my main window they're keeping this full main window mostly you, you here you're going to see only the windows not the actually a page okay so this is the uh, it means inside the page all the windows so here i have only one window in the page i have only one window so i can uh, resize it and i can change as well so i want a main window like this so let do the same design what i showed you in the uh, ppt so i want a main window here okay and i need one window for header one window for logo one for footer okay uh, maybe i this is a switch like on and off kind of uh, option form painter and i'm going to create one more window for my first page so right click create window okay so this is coming under pages and windows again uh, in sap script you have a page and window separately and you have to form it under the console called page windows here everything is coming in start from the third option page windows so by default if you create automatically it's coming under the page only so i created a window and it's coming under my first page and double click so here i can say uh, this is my header window you can use space if you want a space you can use um, underscore okay if that is a space it will give an a say, uh, error message header details okay so here by default uh, the window type is going to be the secondary window these are the types of windows we'll we'll see a uh, little later about each type so mostly we are going to handle with secondary and main window very simple main window is going to be the continuous one meaning depends on the data it automatically creates the other page suppose i have a page one and i have a main window here i'm going to keep my data in my, my database information i'm going to keep it here so it has thousand records so for the first page probably it need it holds only 100 records automatically it creates the second page main window it creates a second page and keep the data over that means flowing the data until it reaches it, it displays all the thousand records so that is the beauty of main window so main window is the continuous one remaining all it's not continuous it's a constant so whatever you are keeping it even if it is having you can you can try you can try uh, keeping the internal table inside a secondary window and see how it behaves it truncates the value it, it holds only uh, 100 records in the page it displays only 100 records it won't create another page for 101 so it, the continuous is happening only in the main window not in the secondary window okay and then i need a logo so for that i'm going to create a window called graphic window in sap script you don't have a graphic window separately it's a common window you can keep your graphics but in smart forms yes you have a separate option for keeping your uh, graphical items here it is logo so i'm going to create a graphic so that is also by default coming under page one so if you want you can change it company logo so here you get an error because it won't accept space okay and done and here you have to give what is the name of your uh, logo and what is the object what is the id on it okay so yeah let's have it so here i'm going to use this f4 option and i'm going to say enjoy so it's a standard uh, name it's a default uh, any any server any training server you are able to find this logo and uh, there is a different transaction to upload your logo also okay uh, that is ac78 uh, so here I'm saying I want a color or black and white, whatever it is. Let me display everything in co both, both color and black and white. And the name is enjoy. Let's check, execute. Yeah, there is uh, two things. So I have a bit, this is a color, this is uh, black and white. So let me go with this. So it's filled everywhere. It's filled and it's, it, this got changed also color bit map image. I'm good. And then uh, let me have one more, uh, the same like graphic we have an option called address window so this is especially for the address window in sap every address has its own number address number okay so you can have a dynamic variable also but here i'm going to uh, pass the uh, what do you call address number hard coded address number but you can uh, dynamically pass the address number from your driver program so i don't want to dump everything in the final one this is just an introduction so i just go with very uh, easy way to uh, get most of the windows okay so address number i think i need to get it from the table 
uh, otherwise let me do one time okay let's check from the f4 Nothing. Three hundred entries found. Okay. So here, I'll just go with, this is one of the address number, I, I believe it has some address, let's see. Okay, what type of address you prefer, it's going to be an organization or a personal, so it depends on your need, you can just make a change of this one, okay. And here also, if you want, you can change the name of the address as, as well, okay, a window. And footer, I didn't add it, because you know what needs to be added in the footer, so let it be. So still, I'm now... Um, I'm creating a window with an empty window. It doesn't have any content. Okay. So it depends on your creation. It by default is go and saved everything in the like left corner of your page. So you drag and drop it. So this is my address window. Okay. I want address to be like this. And this is my header. Um, okay. Uh, let's down. I want a header here. And the company logo is also comes here. So address like this and address is going to be the right one, right side. Just align it. Okay. Um, after the preview also, you just come and modify it. Depends on your need. So now address has a content. This window has a content because of the address number. Logo also, I added a content. Now the main window and the header window are empty. So I need to add a, one more component called text elements. So let me close this form painter. And where is the one? So here it is. So these two doesn't have an expand because type of address or type of window itself, you are able to add a content, but, but the secondary window and the main window, it needs some other component to add a content on that. So right click, create text, okay? So here, here also you are able to change the name, whatever is required. It, it's a best practice to change the name because it, if you design a very complex and huge smart forms and after your presence, some other new developer comes by seeing the window, by seeing the text name itself, they can understand, okay, the issue is here, we have to modify it. So if you go with the generic one, it's very difficult for the next developer to understand where exactly is what happens if any changes comes, okay? So here uh, you have to, this is a kind of little uh, take some time because the rental system, it should show a kind of a word space here. You can start typing it, whatever you want. Okay. Uh, I don't want to wait till that time. So you have an option called text editor. Just click. It will open the editor uh, in a bigger way. So here also, uh, again, this it's, it's open as a MS Word only. I need to wait for it. Okay, let's find. I don't want to wait. Again, one more option called go to change editor. So the second edit, this one, uh, where I'm going to change it, the line editor is called. So here, why we are, we are going us or this editor is mostly used for assigning a variables. Okay, because the variable, if you want to assign a variable that needs a specific structure, it's like ambassador variable name ambassador. If you write the same thing ambassador variable name ambassador in the previous editor, what happens is it not recognized properly. It simply add an extra tag as well. So I will show you that. Okay. So now I'm in a header information, so header details. Okay. So just in content, nothing much. Okay. And there is no save button here. It's fine. If you click back, it's auto saved. So same thing I'm going to do for main also. Main window, I'm not going to have any content here. So let's go with the very simple smart form. Create text. Text editor. Okay. 
go to change editor so if you are able to see the window ms word over here so better go ahead you don't want to come till this place and write a hard coded value okay so main window so f3 we are all set okay i have a page and everything is fine so let me check so everything is just in hard coded values only check the execute successfully act toward it save in the local object activated it okay i am going to test it now so i am not going to create a driver program as i mentioned you can test your smart forms uh, directly with this transaction so until you are not expecting many things or many values from your driver program okay so there is an option called execute now system generates one function module form must be saved okay click s yes. continue so this is the function module generated by system forget about whatever name what is the sequence don't worry about it okay so now you are in a function module page considering se37 now you know how to test the function module execute if there is any input parameter you have to give the input parameter then further execute you will get the uh, output of your function module same thing here i'm going to execute now then it will come with a page whether i need to give a import parameter there is nothing mandatory import parameter these are the import parameters so all optional it doesn't require anything to execute my smart form skip it and again one more execution now this is a form right a smart form so it needs a print properties window okay so you need have a output device and uh, like print now delete after output for the initial stage just give the output device most of your system as configured with the default device lp01 okay sometimes it not you are if it is a client system they also have the lp01 but they have their own device to be configured you have to do that one you have to get the name of it and you have to do that one okay so now i'm going to click print preview button is it visible so oh, here yeah print preview button okay just click print preview you will get the print preview option here so very simple smart form and i don't have anything so it's one of one just a page one page and one page here and header details and this is a logo and this is a main window okay so from here you are able to print or you can come out of your smart form okay okay so let's go out exit it take you to the same way where which which we followed smart form sorry function module import parameter again function module initial screen go back okay simple what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a global definition so let's do the driver program little later let's understand few things over here so i'm going to uh, give a field called name i'm going to declare it type maybe character 20 Okay, either you can give a default value here, then it will display there. Okay, let's see that one also. Uh, first name, last name, character twenty. So first name value is um, okay. I'll do is the simple one first, and second one I'm going to display in the initialization. I'm going to write the code for the for this particular variable in the initialization place. Just go here. so l name equals last name okay so here you will get a error i'll show you what is that so this is the place where you can check it always prefer this because in smart forms you have many small small components uh, most of the components have an option to have a program line small editor only for the particular window you have the editor so once you done with the code don't check with the help of the global check option it will take some time normally it take more time if you have a very complex smart form so whenever you are done with the code check here whether your syntactically your code is correct or not just check click check it will give an error it shows field l name is unknown meaning every editor every small abab editor has an option called input parameter output parameter so whatever whatever variable you are using inside the editor that needs to be mentioned either in the input or in the output parameter okay 
very specific. So whatever you're going to read, so I'm going to read the value from a variable. It could be a, a global variable. So in that case, you have to mention in the input parameter or you're saying, no, I have a variable. I'm going to change the content of the variable inside my editor that is coming under output parameter. Okay. But very simple. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this variable to be declared either either in the input or in the output parameter. But if you manage the way all the changed one in the output, all the read one in input, that would be better. Okay, so here I'm changing the variable. So I'm going to say L name is my output parameter. So once it, you have assigned it, it's not declared kind of, it's assigned it or listed it, then the check won't come. So here I mentioned check executor successfully. So this check is good only for this editor, not for entire smart forms. There could be some other error also. So at the end, you have to check your entire smart form and act about it. Okay. So now the global definitions is ready here. I'm going to use it in my, um, which one header, okay, in the header window. Then let me have, uh, Okay, internal table declaration. I'm going to create a table type. Types begin. Of, this is one of one of the way I can say uh, sales, or you can create a table type in AC11 and do it as well. But mostly, I'm going to utilize the smart form properties. So, webln type webln um, simple like VB type type VB type. So nothing much end of sales okay i'm going to create a table type here so types table type sales type table of uh, stu sales okay now table type is ready so body of an internal table basically right table types so now go to global data so i click saved and here you have one more option like you can check it as well as you can pretty printer so only for this editor you are able to formulate your code with the help of pretty printer concept so this button helps to uh, perform the pretty printer for your particular editor okay so pretty printer just click it's got changed okay now global data tt sales okay so here i'm saying it sales type tt sales okay so uh, now this is my internal table so now i need to fill the data to my internal table and one more i can say uh, this is for po type table of that also supports in this editor you can say ekko okay so this all this is an internal table it has all the fields of your ekko okay so either you can go over table type or another option type table of also you are able to use it in this particular window so now i want to fill the information it sales so go to initialization so mostly i'm working out with uh, inside the smart forms i'm not touching anything in driver program as of now so i need only three things so two things vb ln and vb type from vb ak into table it sales so this is a one of the variable so if i checked it it will give an error it sales is unknown because it's not declared anywhere either in the input parameter or in the output parameter right so now i need to fill it in the output parameter because i am changing means i'm entering the data into it it sales then where it gone good there's no issues okay so now i'm going to display the value in my main window so the header window i'm going to display my first name and last name and main window i'm going to display all the content so go to the header window text text components or text element where you have to uh, place your constant value or the variable so or if you're going to display, if you're going to assign a variable or if you're going to use a variable, means any data medium, variable, work area, whatever it is, mostly variable and work area only because that carries the data one by one, right? Uh, in your editor, always go to choose 
this line editor and start writing the variable names here okay so header details may be the next line just put enter um, amberson okay first name f name f name yeah f name i'm sorry amberson iphone amberson l name okay so if you try to write this in the pre previous editor previous ms word or uh, word document editor so what happens is after we enter in the ms board and just come and see in the line editor it's this is going to be segregated with tags so that what it uh, it recognize okay so always if you want to enter a data medium please come to the line editor and do it okay go back so i'm done with my header and i want to go to my main window display the data so for here uh, this is a constant one right uh, first name and last name is a variable but here it's a loop so go to main window first before get into the text go to the main window i need to perform the loop so loop into kind of right so go to main window because uh, record by record it should be displayed or printed whatever it is okay so here what i have to do is i have to create a loop for it so right click create flow logic flow logic under the flow logic only all type of uh, code related informations are available so right click the main window create flow logic loop so i'm creating a loop here i created a loop so what is the internal table name that is declared in my global definition so it's available in all the components of my smartphones it sales into wa sales uh, wa sales is not declared it's given error okay wa sales simple and row to row so from which row to which row you want like 1 to 10 1 to 100 mostly we are not using this but there there is an option and you have a var condition even for the loop var vb type equal to this that also you are able to make it here okay the field names like vb type what is the field name you declare that field name and there is a operators you have greater than less than equal to not equal to you make use of it and write a value on it okay so now i need this text inside the loop it's not inside the loop see it's in the same uh, hierarchy if you open it it should be inside the loop so drag and drop then it will ask so where you want under the node or after the node currently it's after the node only so i want under the node so now if you see if i close it it closed the text as well so i want the text inside the loop so text is the place where i'm going to display the values right um the text go to the line editor because this is a data medium or carrier so i need to go to the line editor so main window may be the next one i'm saying amberson Work area sales iPhone VBELN and then maybe comma Amazon sales VB type. Okay, that's it. Go back. Okay, almost done. One declaration is missing that gives an error. Let's see how it gives an error. Check. It's an overall check for my entire smartphone. So in the loop, WA sales is unknown. Okay, let me declare it. Go to the global definition. So here it is type sales, type uh, STU sales. The structure, right? So let me check it. Yeah, so now it's everything is fine. This is just a warning message is have no value. It's fine. I didn't have any value on it. It's just a warning message. That's okay. Act over it. So still for this smartphones, I don't want a, a driver program to execute my, this is a warning message. Okay. Execute my smartphones because I'm not getting much. I'm not getting anything outside of the smartphones. So I can, I'm good enough to execute my smartphones in this transaction itself. So the same function module. It's not every execute will get a different one. The same function module is going to become and still I'm not giving anything to the import parameter execute. LP01 print preview. Expecting some more pages because I, I return select star. Uh, it could be minimum of 100 records I believe in the system. 
So it has to create a minimum of 10 pages and uh, depends on your main window size because I just redesigned it with, with the very minimal one. So probably it, it holds 10 or 12 records in a page. So it, it keep on creating. I believe it's keep on creating. That is the reason it takes more time. Let's wait. Oh yes, it's created uh, 2799 pages because it holds only uh, very few records. So this is the header details, first name and last name. And uh, this is from the default value. This is from the initialization uh, part and these are the main windows. Okay, so if you go to the next page, uh, page down, let's go to the second page now. You can see here 842 start with, end with 642 and page down. So it's, it's keep on changing. Okay. So the address is missing. Actually the address, the number doesn't have any address. I believe that is the reason the address window is missing here. Let me quick, let me quickly check. So if you want to more and in the main window just go to the form painter and then increase the size of the form painter uh, main window especially to accommodate more records oh it's very small let's have the bigger one okay and uh, let me quickly check the address as well Okay, I found one address number which has address. It's 49603. Uh, it's a hard coded one. We can change it. And I did a small change for a faster execution. Uh, so I just changed the select as first 200 rows only. So execute. And execute. Execute. LP01 print review. Yeah, it's here. So here, yes, you have the address, printed, header line. You just change it. It's just a simple one. Okay, it doesn't have any design. So simply we are adding the data and make sure it's executing something dynamically from the smartphones. Okay, so so far we are not using any driver program. So probably going forward, we are going to uh, execute everything from the driver program onwards through driver program. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. Clear on with this. And if you have any doubt, please let me know. And thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.